Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you how to make chicharrones. So if you wanna learn how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so here I already have all of my ingredients. As always, they will be listed in the description box. So with that being said, let's begin cooking. We're going to begin by adding water to a casso. To that we're going to add half an onion, one head of garlic, and salt. Make sure you use a good amount. Now we're just going to bring our water to a boil. Okay, so once our water comes to a boil, we're going to add our strips of pork belly. I cut mine in half, but of course you can always leave them nice and long. One thing to make sure is that your pork belly has the skin. So we're just going to throw them all in. After five minutes, we're going to remove the impurities from our pork belly. Okay, so now we're going to add four bay leaves and peppercorn. And we're just going to allow this to cook for another 20 minutes and then we can remove it from the pot. Okay, and after the total of 25 minutes, we're going to remove our pork belly from the broth. I'm going to be placing it in a kitchen towel because we want them to be nice and dry. And as for the broth, we're going to remove it. You can always strain it and save it for the next time you make tamales. But just be very careful when you get rid of it. So we're just going to pat dry our pork belly Make sure that it is completely dry before we move on to the next step. Okay, so once we get rid of the broth, we're going to add a lard. And you just want enough lard to cover the pork belly. And now we're just going to allow it to melt and we want our lard to be at 200 degrees. Okay guys, so once our lard has melted and we have our lard set to 200 degrees over medium low heat, now we can get ready to add our pork bellies back in. And just make sure that they are dry. Okay, so now we're just going to allow our pork belly to cook in the lard for one hour. Make sure that you're moving them constantly around so they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Alrighty guys, so after one hour, our pork belly has now turned into chicharrones and this is what they should look like. So now we're just going to remove them from the lard. Okay, I'm going to place them in paper. Alrighty, so now we're just going to allow our lard to get nice and hot. Okay, so once our lard is nice and hot, we're going to return our chicharrones back in. And we're going to be frying them for about five minutes. Make sure that you're constantly moving them around. And this is what you want your chicharrones to look like. And now we're just going to remove them from the lard. And just like that, we have our chicharrones. Alrighty guys, and once our chicharrones have cooled down for a little bit, now we can get ready for the best part, the taste test. And I love, of course, you know, to eat it with some guacamole, so I already have it here. And I have a recipe video on my guacamole. I will leave it down in the description box. But let me tell you that I am so ready. I love chicharrones, you know, especially in a tortilla, the guacamole, una salsita, and just like that, it's like the perfect taco for me. Um, I hope you give this recipe a try. It's seriously super easy. You know, you just gotta be patient, trust the process, um, but the end result, it's seriously so worth it. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. So let me dip it, and they're still cracking. You're that. So I'm ready. Mm. Seriously? The best. Mm. They're perfect. They're not too salty. They're just perfect, you know? Crunchy. So, like carnita, it's a little soft. And the fat rendered perfectly. It's honestly the best. Mm. Alrighty guys, and there you have it on how to make some easy and delicious chicharrones. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.